Ah, uh, yes. It is about 5.45 a.m. in the morning and we are struggling to get up. Our alarm has gone off about five damn near times and we are finally waking up. Um, so basically this will just be a day in the life as me as a PT student. So let's get right into it. Just kind of do the regular degular, you know, brush my teeth, wash my face. And, you know, we always got to have the music blasting because waking up this early is a crime. So. <laughs> try to make my breakfast before I go to school and usually before I get ready so I typically just make some boiled eggs yes I know it's a lot of freaking salt I know I already know um, but yeah I usually try to make some boiled eggs and um, some oatmeal usually in the morning and then I also like to put my lunch together to try to be as organized as possible and just kind of make everything easier by prepping at night so it's just the little things, they matter a lot. Tea is my life. I literally drink it almost every day, so always gotta get the kettle started and then we'll just come downstairs and just get dressed and ready for school Deandra's house. We carpool every morning and it just kind of helps set the mood of the day. Days not carpooling are hard. But this girl is always late so we always have to have a jam session in the car beforehand. <laughs> taking a car, a bus, and walking. We're finally at school. Um, due to pro COVID protocols, we have to take our temperature every morning and then wipe down our area. We also take a survey. And you know, just cleanliness is safety and safety is the priority. What well, works about this, uh, the same thing, I will leave them for 10 minutes, pass the patient. Uh, there's a lot of um, debate here. I mean, you've seen people when you go to the gym or your friends, they feel like you need to create a lot of hematoma. I really don't feel like that's my goal for the treatment. My goal for the treatment is to be able to modulate their pain. So, so in our musculoskeletal class today, we were working on kind of some manual techniques like trigger point release, soft tissue mobilization, and kind of playing with some other fun tools. So you'll see. <laughs> So 
So here we have my girl Jess working on my upper traps because your girl got cervicogenic headaches, so they're always activated. Um, but in our class, because of COVID, we all have like a learning partner. And so Jess is my learning partner and I absolutely love her. Um, and then here we can see us doing some Graston techniques. Okay, light pressure. And this is wet, and this is less pressure than I was. Oh, do you feel that? I ran a ballet yesterday. So. tension points in the muscles everything like that so it was really interesting experience but definitely freaky to look at <laughs> how do you feel <laughs> it's a little tight but it's not bad i feel the blood flow going to my back that's good i like the smaller ones i think better than the bigger one Home or we stay on campus and either we just the bus. Yeah, we catch the bus and we Usually, go to the car. We find some place to spend money on food, but we're not doing that this year <laughs> because we're even poorer than before. <laughs> Didn't know it could happen, but it did. <laughs> so, and then yeah, we just kind of <clears throat> what we be doing though for real. We'll just be we'll leave class and then we'll either take a go get food go to sleep at our house but most of the time we just end up staying on campus especially last semester we were on there for like we would do some 12 hour days it would be crazy but this semester is different it's it looking it's looking up so yeah so let's just catch the bus and then head home to kind of study or i guess your apartment so bye I may either go to her apartment or go to a place underneath her house and kind of just like rewatch lectures, um, write out notes, everything like that. With the hybrid model, we've been having a lot of, and a lot of online lectures. With, and so it's just been so dense, so packed. So trying to find the time to really like write all that information out is definitely crucial. And as you can see, I'm an archaic student and I need the pen to paper. So. I typically write out almost all my notes and that is so time consuming on the front end. So as you can see, we just gonna be here for a while writing out our notes because I was rewriting something from class earlier and it just was like taking forever. But I see it worth it because obviously you can say I color coded everything like that. So, you know, you win some, you lose some, you know, things are faster, some things are slower, but I found that it's a better experience for me.
Whenever I get home, I will typically continue working on my schoolwork or kind of annoy my family. But here, sometimes I just like to get my freaking life together. <laughs> so I was just sending a lot of emails, checking out my schedule, and reaching out to people I haven't talked to in a while. Basically, organizing all aspects of my life because it's important. watch all these online lectures. I'm telling you all, it is a beast with this hybrid model. What isn't captured is I spent some time with my family earlier, so it's not all just school, 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 I promise. But for the sake of this video and for the sake of my family's privacy, we're mainly just focusing on watching and doing lectures. <laughs> it was the beginning of the semester, so we're trying to stay productive. At a certain point, I always call to quits and just have some me time, some time to rest and rewatch the shows. So I'm just watching Misfits now. If you don't know it, you need to get to know it because it's good as hell. And then we call it a night at about 11.45. Good night, y'all.